Every now and again, a creature with a bite as bad as its bark will enter the field of play, to the roar of the crowd and the horror of just about everyone else on the pitch. But we've covered Luis Suarez in previous videos. Today, G and I will be rating football's most iconic animal moments from around the globe. So I start with three dogs. Three dogs. Uh, three dogs. Dog. <laughs> Aww. Just like, <laughs> everyone else is running around, why can't we? I can't tell whether that black one's like into it. I mean, he does <laughs> not look happy there. <laughs> yeah, that is not a happy looking dog. It's just the fact that three of them all managed to make it on. How did they get yeah. in as well? Like, that's, that looks like quite a big stadium. Maybe it's like three guide dogs and there's just three blind people yeah. just like <laughs> trying to figure out where they are. So where do you want to put our three little pigs? I feel like there has to be a poor effort, you know? I don't think the clip was long enough for me to get into it. They're just vibing. Nothing really happened. There he is! Yes! Look at him go! Oh. <laughs> he does not give a shit what anyone thinks. <laughs> He's just zooming. This is a Premier League game as well. Liverpool oh. against Spurs. He looks so scared. He's like, where am I? <laughs> oh, Kenny is not happy. I love the reactions of all the players and managers to this. Like, no one has any idea what to do. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> they got him. He has been apprehended. Where should we put him? I think the fact that he handed himself over willingly and was just vibing. He's He's a master of the arts. Right, so this next one, I had a look into it and apparently it wasn't as it seemed. However, it's still an iconic enough moment to warrant making it into this video. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think so. Yeah, Ashley Young claims that this wasn't actually bird poo, which oh. is really disappointing because I, I went about 10 years of my life believing that a bird pooped in his mouth. Seeing as the evidence suggests that it's not real, what are you thinking? Not feeling it. You know what, that's really disappointing because if that was real, I feel like that would be a goat. It's what you get for being bald, really. <laughs> this next one's probably gonna get a reaction similar to, uh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. God. The poor no thing. No one cares except the goalie. <laughs> yeah, they're just happy to keep going. The keeper's the only one concerned about this. But Sing. look, he's Aww. okay. Normally when pitch invaders come on, they get a stadium ban, but he's just got front row seats. <laughs> a martyr to the cause. Sacrifice yeah. himself for VIP seats. That's what you call a goat. You think he deserves to get in the goats? Yeah. For the ultimate heist. He planned that. <laughs> Look at him standing around like he owns the place. What is he doing? <laughs> he's not moving, he's just he's just enjoying his time. How on earth did a cockerel get to a football match? I can understand a cat or a dog if they're straight, but a cockerel. Yeah. I was about to say they're not exactly the most nimble of creatures, but no one's getting close to him. Oh he yeah. Is avoiding those authorities like it's no <laughs> Look at him go. He's even got his little neon orange football boots on. <laughs> I was gonna say he's got orange boots, he must be <laughs> away. <laughs> that man probably has a family. Oh, look at him! And another! Oh, oh he's taking jukes. out two people! <laughs> <laughs> that guy's just thinking about offering him a contract. The thing I love the most uh, is that it's very obvious that absolutely none of them know how to catch a bird. And then he just wipes out two people in the process. Yeah, absolutely what a guy. Absolutely incredible. That cockerel oh, is a oh. goat. The fact that he made two people fall over, it just caused as much chaos as possible. I think this is one of the most famous animal football moments of all time. This is just the most wholesome thing ever. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not sure what the keeper's trying to do exactly, just uh, oh, 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 he can do tricks. Oh my god, <laughs> he's having the time of his life. I also love the fact that there have been two red cards in this game as well. So, this is clearly a pretty heated match, and now this dog has just come on to completely diffuse the tension. I think he's a master of the arts. He just went out there and had fun. This is one of my favorite clips, I think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the ball's the size of him. Oh, that's cute. He just wants the ball, he couldn't care less about the people. He just wanted top bins. I love that they interview him after the game as well. I love that the reporter immediately realises their mistake as soon as their expensive microphone starts getting chewed up. I think he's a goat. You think he's a goat? Yeah. I think the fact he got the interview at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Someone takes an absolutely gargantuan L in this one. <laughs> oh my god. It's always the little dogs, isn't it? <laughs> he gets mag nuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to get his jaws around that. Whoa. And then he gets oh. done again! <laughs> 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 Why is he being carried off like that? He's so compliant. I think we know where that's going. He's going in the top as well, isn't he? Oh, yeah. So we start off with some officials looking very confused and not really sure what they're meant to be doing. And then it just cuts to that. Look at the size of this game as well. I think this is River Plate. This is like one of the top Argentinian teams. And the dog is just 
come on and taken a dump on the pitch. <laughs> He's done his business. He's happy to be escorted off. Look how proud he is. He feels ten pounds lighter. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for the dog. I know. Poor thing's absolutely shat itself. Oh. Not a single face in that crowd is happy. <laughs> well, no, the fans look pretty pleased with themselves. The manager, <laughs> the ref, <laughs> they all oh. just look so frustrated and fed up with this. I just felt bad in that one. Oh. It started off amazingly, but now I just feel bad for him. I would put it in the top, but I feel like because I felt so bad for him, I feel like it knocks it down a tier. He's a man Master yeah. of the arts, quite clearly, this isn't his first rodeo. <laughs> the goated thing to do would have been to just sh and leave. I think the size of the occasion got to him in the end and he got a bit scared. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! What a save! <laughs> that was an awful kick. Yeah, that was some interesting goalkeeping, but I think I don't want to take the shine away from this dog that's just thundered across the goal line to make that save. <laughs> like, he's covered so much ground to get there, but I did hear the whistle go as the shot was kicked, so I don't think it would have counted anyway. But still, what a save. You could take some tips. <laughs> It's like you said, if the whistle hadn't been blown, it would have been incredible. I think he's a master of his art. He just timed it so perfectly. So our next clip originates from Chile. We got our first big dog. I was gonna say. <laughs> You're not getting that back. I still got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Look how sad Aww. he is when he drops it. I think that's my favourite dog so far. Yeah. And again with the carrying off with the... What a goat. You think that this bad boy deserves to go in the goats? Absolutely. <laughs> is that a shoe? Yes, that is <laughs> somebody's shoe. <laughs> They're all just kind of playing the game. Like, no, no one seems to be missing a shoe there, but somebody clearly Aww. is. That, that shoe didn't come out of nowhere. Finally, someone that knows how to pick up a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one's top two tiers. Yeah, yeah, let's put it in tier two. I think I know where this one's going before we even watch it. So they're just trying to play it out from the back and then oh, he gets wiped out. two footed. Such a display of skill. Shame there was no follow up chaos after this, but there's one way to stop a team from playing out from the back. Goat. You think goats for him as well? Oh, 100%. That That's tackle it. was perfectly executed. <laughs> totally legal. This is a clip I've used in a previous video, but I absolutely love it, so I just kind of wanted to see it again. <laughs> is he chasing him around the pit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god, he is running. I know. Wow. The dog looks like he's having a great time. The guy, less so. I love how everyone's just stood around just like, yeah, we can let this play out. Where do you want to put our over-enthusiastic young lad? I think it's got to be. You think it's got to be goats? I think it's got to be. We finally have a clip that's not a cat, dog, or chicken. <laughs> oh. It's just a family of dogs. The ref is there like... Oh. The fact that he blows his whistle at them as well. I don't think ducks abide by your laws. Where do you want the ducks to go? I feel like they didn't do much apart from just be there. I think that could be improved with some elite duck gameplay. We have yet another cat up next. Sue! <laughs> oh, shame they haven't even got to start the oh, game yet. he's so small. <laughs> he's like, where the hell am I? He doesn't even go for the players or the ball or anything. He's just vibing. To, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he gets cheered off. He doesn't do much, but he's really cute. Yeah, I think it could be improved. He could have done a loaf or something. We have another wild card of an animal next. Is that a goat? <laughs> <laughs> that is a goat. Oh my god. The keeper's just like, what, he's what just am I going doing? for it? So yeah, they managed to get rid of him and then he just comes straight back. He just wants to be in goal. Who are you to deny him? <laughs> a keeper. No one has a clue what to do. To be fair, he didn't actually do very much. Yeah. I think it could be improved with some goat plays. But the next one is just slightly terrifying. I'm not too bad with bugs. This isn't a bug, this is a monster. Oh god. Oh. Look at the size of it. Oh my god. <laughs> the fact he like kisses the arm with the locust on. But yeah, you gotta give credit to the locust. He's really picked his moment for like maximum effect. I um, think the fact that there was no reaction yeah. makes it a bit of a poor effort, you know. If James Rodriguez had seen that and absolutely shat himself, that would have <laughs> been would've amazing. Been funny. <laughs> kangaroo. Yes, that's right. We have a kangaroo next. He wants to take a corner. Exactly. The Australian national team's new deadly weapon. Yeah. They're waiting to unleash that at the next World Cup. Oh, yeah, and then he's off. 
but he comes back for more. Is that really their attempt at getting rid of it? Just throw balls at it until it just hops the fence and disappears? <laughs> they must have a PhD in animal handling. I just love how docile he's being and everyone's just terrified. Is there a third outing? Oh There's a third! God, he, comes, third. he comes back for a just third go! Straight over the fence. This kangaroo just reminds me of Salt Bay at the end of the World Cup. <laughs> not once, not twice, but thrice he returned. I think the fact that he came back three times is what makes that so incredible. I think he's a goat. This one's fairly similar to a fair few we've seen, but this dog is actually supposed to be there. <laughs> Look at you! I just love the fact that this is a police dog. He's been to enough football games that he's like, you know what, I want to try it. Can only imagine it's like some policeman's first day on the job, yes. and he's just like, oh, oh my god. Why was it off the lead to start with? Someone's <laughs> going ball. back to training. I love how the handler's got another ball to try and coax yeah. him away. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to distract him with another ball, but... Oh, yeah, it worked, it worked. Yes. The second ball decoy, it oh worked. My god. I think the fact that that was quite clearly a trained dog who had been trained to be in situations like that and still decided, no, I want that ball, makes him a goat. This next clip is phenomenal. Oh my god! Someone has decided to stick a flag <laughs> on a chicken. He is kitted out. He's stripped and ready for action. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He does not want to be caught. He kind of caught himself there. He threw himself oh, into the net. They're just amazing. taking him back to the bench so he can uh, have a word with the manager. I think that's the only deliberate incident in this whole video. Yeah, he was quite clearly placed there. Yeah, someone has gone out of their way to bring a chicken into this game, <laughs> dress it up, and then unleash it onto the pitch. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just fantastic. I feel like it deserves goat because clearly someone went through a lot of effort to get that chicken on the pitch. But also he didn't really do too much. I think he's just a master of the arts. Yeah, he liked a bit of flair. So here it is, the completed tier list for animal moments within football. I really underestimated how much G loves animals here. If you are feeling... No. <laughs> I haven't felt anything in years. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these clips as much as we did. See you in a bit.